Hey everyone, and welcome to my third AutoWit tutorial. Today I'll be going over hotkeys and the random function. So let's go ahead and create a new hotkey, which will be the escape button, and it will close, and we'll call it close. Next hotkey, F1. Whoops, and we'll call this start. Okay. So let's create a while one sleep win end function close. Don't forget the brackets exit and func. Okay. Create the start function, function start, and let's create two new locals for the random function. Local pause equals whoops, random one as a minimal, maximum, thousand, flag one. Same we'll do for the next. Okay. Now we'll create a mouse move function. Mouse will move to position one. Position 2 at a speed of 15. Sleep for 500. And then message box 0. Um, new, new pause. Position, yeah. Don't forget the space right here. Now we're cr gonna create a and pause. And um, another and and your position two. Close the brackets. And that's it. Save this. Go. Oh yes. End func. I always forget that. So if we now hit F1, we'll go to the position. And... Yes, I forgot to put a space between those. Comma, or is it a uh, comma? Then a space. Uh, let me try that. Yeah. I think I have to. I'm actually not quite sure right now. Uh, nope. Whatever. Let's keep it like that. Okay, so it goes to a random position. Uh, it should be spaced. Yes, of course. Of course. Totally messed that up. And I forgot that other and. Okay, sorry about that. Let's 
So your position is. Whoop! Oh, did I just hit OK? Eighty-four, six hundred fifty-five. So that is your x and your y coordinate. Okay. Now I will show you next. We'll just copy this hotkey and call it Start Two and F Two. Create a new function. Start two. Create another a new local and call this password or PW random next we're gonna create an input box uh, IP input equals input box title login uh, prompt at password password character we can create a star or we can leave it for now I'm going to leave it uh, 2 30 one twenty. That should be good enough. And yeah, keep it like that. Next, we're gonna create an if statement. If your input equals the password created up here, then message box. the password space and password another and bracket space is correct correct and close Title, don't need that. And now we need to the if. To the if, if it's not that, then we need to create an else statement. Else message box the password space and input what is input uh, what is typed in to the input box is incorrect and then you want to exit and funk. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this. Tools, stop executing, and go. F2. Now, uh, where did I forget? Uh, got something. Ah, uh, yes, of course, of course. End, end if. We gotta end this if statement. Go. F2. Creates a input box. Password. 
all. Yes, I forgot something. Uh, space and it, it it's not showing the password so we have to do it like that and go go f2 here's the password so 4 2 30 yeah the password 4 2 30 is correct okay password here we go Oh yeah, hit escape to close. Go. F2. 5309. Let's type in 1, 1, whatever. Oh, there's something wrong. Of course there's something wrong. I forgot a bracket. Okay, let's do that again. Whatever. Hello. The password hello is incorrect. Okay. So hope you hope this uh, tutorial helped you. Comment, rate, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Check out my Facebook page. Subscribe. And more tutorials will be coming out soon.